What's up, everybody? How's it going? I opened the game and there was no music, and then it just turned on. Oh, this is such a generic, boring song. I'll never stop being salty that we never got- There's a jukebox, but you can only use it in one room. <laughs> Alright, well, what do we have today? We have Scyther, another mini ore. Don't need dugong. Absolutely jack squad in the coastal biome. Starly. I do actually need more. Do I need. St I think I might need Staravia and Staraptor. Ugh, that doesn't sound fun though. <laughs> that doesn't sound fun. Oh, I'm sorry to hear you're not feeling good, Braylon. I hope you feel better. Berg. Sawsbuck. Capsicid. I do need Tadbulb. I've been getting a lot of annoying Gen 9 hunts out of the way. Wait, well, who is this? Who the frick is this? Rotom spawns here. I don't know who this is. This, okay. <laughs> I guess. Uh, I guess I gotta go check it out. Whoops. I, I love what I forget. I have TikTok open on my phone and it just starts blasting. <laughs> Taylor, if if you're here, I have a good one for you. All right. Well, who the who incarnation is this? Now, who incarnation? Oh, that's a shiny Drifloon, chat. <laughs> I just I just opened the game. I okay. <laughs> La la la. Alright, this might be my new record, chat. I, I literally just opened up the game. Okay. Well, let me tell you, if I ever, you know, if they ever make a regional form or something for Drifloon, I'm good. <laughs> I got shiny Drifloon for actually, uh, for days, in fact. Okay! Dining hunting is so hard, chat. Oh my god. How does anyone do it? Crazy. Absolutely insane. It's a mystical art. Very few understand. Okay, dude. You're level 23. This reminds me. I forgot to buy Lux Balls and Sword and Shield. Next time I do Dynamax, I need to remember to do that. All right, well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is this a pro is this a good omen, chat? It is whispered that any child who mistakes a drifloon for a balloon and holds onto it could wind up missing. Whispered. Shouldn't it be shouted? If drifloon is kidnapping children, I, I feel like there'd be some Pokémon PSAs, you know. Only you can prevent Drifloon kidnappings. Like, there's kids walking around in that city, like... Just a little walk away. I feel like... This needs to be more common- this better be common knowledge. Okay, I guess I'm on a yellow streak chat from- well... Is Meowstic white or yellow? It's both. We're catching the- <laughs> yeah, Drifloon has white and yellow too. <laughs> okay, so this is white squawks, I think? 
Okay, minor nitpick with the shiny dex tracker that I use. I cannot remember which squawks that I have and which I don't. They don't allow you to, like... Like, I can't put in, like... If I had, like, five shiny different colored mini ore, they don't let me put that in. Or Tatsugiri. Tatsugiri is a better example. So I just kind of have to remember. <laughs> when you have 16 boxes of shinies in one game, it's like, oh no. Okay, well, let me uh, go down memory lane here. Uh, I swear I had one sooner. See, this is what happens. Yeah, I really wish the tracker I used would allow me to put down, like, Sawsbuck, Deerling. There's a lot of Pokemon that have alternate forms. Where it would be nice to... To make a note. Let me just search, actually. I did not mean- I really don't like the UI in this game. Okay. I do like that they give you little icons. I can look for Sandy Shocks, everybody. Rejoice. Ooh, my squawk ability. <laughs> I'm like, I can't- <laughs> I'm losing- I'm losing my ability to think right now. I want to say... I have- there it is. Okay. And... go. Okay, so it does show me. I just have a random one in box 27? So it looks like I have yellow and green. I might type this down, actually. I don't know, chat. What, what squawk abilities do you all have, if any? Okay. Let me make a me let me make a note. Green and yellow. I swear I had. Oh, this has a... Oh, this is Tyler's. No. This is an imposter Tyler, because it's got the English thing. It has the dusk mark. I don't know why I kept this. I'm not sure why I, I, I held on to that one. Alright, yeah, there's yellow. And there's green. Yeah, green was kind of early. I could have sworn I had another one. All right. Well, I do need. I do, in fact, need white. So, you know what? Let's do it. You got the full set. Nice. My Pokedex has been updated. <laughs> Aw, yeah. Ugh, every time I remember they put Bweasel in this game, it makes me slightly upset. Uh, you good, Mushy? <laughs> Not me thinking Wiglet was a squawkabilly. Hey, if I- if I got a random shiny Wiglet, I would be very happy. Because I finally got Wug, but now I need the Wiglet.
I forget Marini is in this game too. Does anybody use Toxapex? Do any gym leaders use Toxapex? I, I cannot remember. Somebody was hosting a shiny raid for Marini and Sword and Shield the other day. It'd probably be easier on me to just get it from from that game. I'm getting more Marini spawning than I am anything else. Yeah, nobody's brought Toxic. Toxapex is just not something you ever see in VGC. I guess I should save after my random ass shiny Drifloon. <laughs> I wonder why they decided to have Squawkabilly's hair be pink for the shiny. I like it. I like I like Squawks as shiny. Squawks. <laughs> like I'm playing Donkey Kong Country. We're going to Bramble Blast. I wonder how many people use Squawkabilly on their in-game teams. I really wish that Game Freak tracked what Pokemon people used. I would be very curious to see who ended up like most popular versus least popular. in-game tier team top list yeah i would i would love to know that <laughs> although it'd probably make me i remember i remember there was a there was a pokemon uh youtube a pokey tuber you might say who put their uh i remember when scarlet and violet first came out and they had a screenshot of their in-game team and it was just like Gengar, and I think they had a Lucario on their team, and it's like, wow. Really breaking new ground for this gen's playthrough, huh? <laughs> I would be- I would probably be disgusted by it. I don't know, maybe there'd be an unsung popular hero. Like, Digimon just had a popularity thing, and my boy Magnemon was on top. And and the, the the fucking guys were like, whoa, I'm surprised it's not Imperial German. Like, cause Imperial German is mid. Maybe if you didn't er over merchandise the shit out of it. That's the- that's the woes of liking a franchise where there's tons and tons and tons of characters though, right? Like, not every- not everyone is gonna get equal and fair treatment. <laughs> I remember as a- as a kid, like, Disney has so, like, a few Lion King shows. But I remember, like, the lack of, like, cool Disney Renaissance stuff in, in, like, Disney World and Disneyland always made me mad.
All right, we're good. Uh, excuse me, fellas. Why they all... <laughs> I guess we'll just do picnic resets. That's that's easiest. I love that I just permanently have a grout on on my team. <laughs> We're just always chilling with Gordon. This is a nice wide open area. I mean, it looks awful. <laughs> it's just a bunch of flat, flat sand. But as far as like shiny hunting goes, pretty good. This is like, I feel like if they wanted this to be realistic, there should be a bunch of trash down here. Or is littering uh, too, too hardcore to put in a Pokemon game? There definitely would be like cigarette butts and... <laughs> Cans, soda cans, beer bottles, there'd be so much trash. People would just chuck down there. Wrappers. Fast food bags. What the heck? Oh. I'm like... Why did Watchroll look completely foreign to me for a second? I'm like, who is that? I I honestly was like, Taylo. <laughs> I wish Ta I think I said this the other day. I don't know why I'm thinking about Taylo and, and Swallow. I have a, uh, a Taylor figure where you would, like, push a button and it would flap its wings. Revolutionary. I have multiple Pokemon, uh, like, toys from when I was a child that shoot fire. <laughs> I have a- I have a Groudon that shoots fire. I have a Blaziken that shoots fire out of its fist. I have a Charizard that shoots fire. The Blaziken- I have a big Blaziken figure that actually has, like, a speaker in it. Which I don't- I've never really liked toys or plushies that have, like, an audio box in them, because when they die, they start to sound demonic. You know, it's like when your Furby dies. I don't know, even even as a kid, I didn't- I just don't like things that have noise in them. The, the Blaziken I have, though, I got it because it's so big. It's probably one of the biggest figures I have. But it goes, Blaziken! <laughs> <laughs> Blaziken! And then there's like an action stock sound effect where it goes like boom, boom. A cigarette lighter. 
Toys of the future. What's up, Cacturn? Squawkably has Intimidate, I forgot about that. <laughs> Look at its beak, it looks so shiny. How have they not made- speaking of toys, chat, you know what would be a perfect Pokemon toy? You know those, like, parrots that sit on a plastic log? Those parrot toys that sit on a plastic log and there's a button on the log and it will say something? They need to make one of those for Squawkabilly. Or Chatot. Either bird would do. But they would always have them at, like... I don't know why I associate those with, like, Cracker Barrel. <laughs> you could always fight a parrot at Cracker Barrel. Yeah, that's- yeah, that's another thing. Those toys are not rechargeable. At least, you know, the ones I grew up with. So yeah, they would just eat through batteries. Or worse, the batteries would get corroded and then it would just be... ...a mess. Shout out to the time batteries corroded in my first four figure supersonic statue. <laughs> That was great. Bust out the Q-tips and the vinegar. Don't Cracker Barrels usually have talking fish? You know, I haven't seen a talking bass in a long time. But yes, in the past they definitely did. I don't know, I'm not up to date on my talking bass lore. Are they all like bl like smartphone enabled now? You can you can play your latest tunes through your talking bass. We controllers always corrode. I don't think I've ever had a controller have battery exploding on me. I can't remember any sort of corrosion from any controller I've ever had. Thankfully. It always feels so random. Yeah, please download our app from the App Store. That's very- that's- <laughs> That's too real, actually. That is too real. Nothing like buying a piece of technology and then it's like, um, in order to use this, you have to download our app. Or even worse, when you go to like play a game and they require you to they require you to have an account. Ugh. Talking Pikachu is from 98. For the longest time, I got a Pikachu figure from a yard sale when I was a kid. Good old style, good old fashioned, fat Pika. A wide lad. However, this Pikachu was kind of weird. Uh, because it was holding like a blue staff. And the staff has, like, a keyhole. So for the longest time, I didn't know what the hell it was. It was just a fat Pikachu holding a blue thing. And I would later find out that it was a toothbrush. It was supposed to be Pikachu holding a, a toothbrush. <laughs> so the, so the, the, there you go. The more, the more you know. It was Pikachu with a toothbrush. It absolutely does not look like a, a toothbrush holder, by the way. That kind of blew my mind, because it doesn't... It almost looks bootleg with how weird it is, but... Back in the day, they... 
cranked out Pokemon toys every other day. <laughs> so you would get a lot of weird stuff. Back when Pokemon first boomed. I know it's pronounced sous-vide, but every time I read those words, I always want to say sous-vide. <laughs> Sous. Sous-vide. A hundred and sixty-six for a boxed one. <laughs> Some people didn't get the memo that the retro... I mean, there probably is still some level of craze, but I don't know. Your your crap from 1999 isn't worth $500, my guy. Another little toy that I got from a yard sale that I think fondly back to you is I got a little squirtle bubble blower. Which is extremely cute. It's just squirtle sitting on top of a blue pokeball. Which would hold the, the liquid for the bubbles. I kind of miss that era of like I don't want to say, like, junky. But, like, cheap toys, you know? Cheap toys that were good fun, not... You know, $400 Kotobukiya bookends from the Pokemon Center. You know what I mean? Like, somebody- I had a TikTok about, like, arcade toys. You know how you'd, like, win tickets and you could get cheap little toys? It's definitely- it's, prob it's probably- it's probably 100% nostalgia, but some of those little, like, toys were fun. <laughs> I, I kind of miss some of those. I don't know, they, do they even have... There's not even a lot of, like, vending machines left anymore. Like, what if you want a Super Bowl? What are you supposed to do? Oh, those Pokemon tops? The spinning ones? I have Magnemite and Pikachu. The Magnemite is actually really fun. Thirty-two bucks, though, for how beat up those are? Jesus Christ. That is not a good price. Yeah, people- I, I saw something- the, I, I can't remember what it was, but- I think I was looking on eBay, and it was an old figure, and it was so- it, it was beat up. It definitely looked like it lived a long life under the care of, like, a five-year-old, and they were trying to charge, like, a hundred bucks for it. <laughs> Hello? from my childhood that's in awful condition. Surely this must be worth $500. What's up, Mimi Q? Oh man, Skee-Ball. Skee-Ball is fun to this day.
It's like, it's one thing if it's in good condition or in its original packaging. It's another if it's like super beat up, used, full of chew marks, markers, dog attacked it, you know. <laughs> Got your Zard? What Zard? Oops, Zard. What's up, Midnight? Are you allowed to catch the new one if you have the original? Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> I, di I didn't think so. Yeah, I don't know. I saw that it was out tonight and it's... One, I already have it, and two... I don't know how many are you hosting comments I could handle. One read the title, two literally watch the stream for like 2 seconds. How hard is it to just get a good pokemon and go into randoms? <laughs> With Umbreon, nice. I'm glad Charizard- I'm glad we're getting Charizard out of the way. Again. So now we can see what else they're going to announce. There's somebody in the wall here. Imagine if that was shiny, chat. I would have <laughs> They should have put some garbage and some debris over here to block the wall. Because they- Apparently don't know what collision is. I'm excited to see what the next Outbreak event is. Hopefully it won't be too long before they uh, announce a new one. Still hoping for Hisui Growlithe, chat. That's... If they're gonna give us Voltorb, I'm gonna hope for Growlithe so I don't have to shiny hunt Hisui Growlithe and Arcanine in PLA. I mean, it, it wouldn't be that difficult. Hisui Growlithe has shown up a lot. I just don't like the outbreak system in PLA. Shiny hunting anything like ultra specific, having to wait for it to show up is... I don't know. It's not my favorite. Whoopa! Bro, it's funny you said that because I first looked over here and there's a question mark and I, so I was like... Well, who the frick is that? And the first thing I said was, "Is there, I know I've shiny hunted Rotom over here. <laughs> this is the Rotom area. Hisui Zora. Whoa, Golden Go just slid into the screen. Into frame. Yeah, that's a great question, Midnight. Why is Rotom on the beach? Like, we first found Rotom in a haunted, like, mansion. The old chateau, and now it's just chilling on the beach. <laughs> Rotom really needed a vacation chat. That's what happened. Rotom has been tired of constantly being brought back for unfunny gimmicks. It needed a break. Please understand.
Why didn't they do like a, a junkyard or something like that? There's so many Pokemon that would have been appropriate for either like a garbage dump or like a scrap yard. You could have put Reveroom and Veroom in a scrap yard. You could have put Grimer there. Like, that's what gets me. You can tell the game is rushed because there's like barely any unique locations in the game. Oh, because Iono's gym is here. Chat, I saw something absolutely hilarious. It, it was one of those things where I'm like, oh boy, I can't wait to talk about this later. <laughs> Pokemon fans are always just doing the most, let me tell you. But I saw a tweet complaining... Oh, what what is the only other move it has? Hold on. I can find this. So somebody was like, why does Larry Staraptor only have Aerial Ace in Facade? It does. It only ha- Larry's- Larry Staraptor only has two moves at level 36. It has Facade and it has Aerial Ace. Only two moves. That is the only two moves that it has. And... I think there's a lot of problems with how they built teams in this game. Like, think about Gita. How many times have we talked about how weird and dysfunctional Gita's team is? And how it took them a year for the DLC to fix it. There's, there's more trainers that have- or more gym leaders that have awful movesets. But anyway, somebody was like, why does Larry Staraptor only have Facade and Aerial Ace? And somebody quote tweeted that and said, I can't even, I can't even read this without internally yelling. Pokemon fans, when they don't understand, some teams have environmental storytelling and that not every gym needs to be a competitive fiend. I'm sorry, uh, environmental storytelling. Is that what we're calling it now? Is that... <laughs> that is the biggest cope I've ever seen in my life. Environmental storytelling. People really just be out here saying anything. Here is their reasoning, like... Uh, Larry is a businessman, so he doesn't want to have the bare minimum on his Pokemon. Which, I think that's giving them too much credit, first of all. Second of all, it's dog shit storytelling, if that is the case. I did not mean to throw a Lux Ball at this Squawkabilly. Why do Pokemon fans go through such hoops to defend Slop? Literally Roxanne in Gen 3, her nose pass had four moves. Yeah, they just designed Pokemon games so that two-year-olds can beat them now. With some exceptions, like PLA. Honestly, BDSP. <laughs> Gosh, you know, you know things are dire when I gotta give a one. Uh, I gotta give a one up to BDSP over, over your the the uh, another Pokemon game. But it's like, you can just say it's like not great. Uh, that's crazy. Somebody said me when I realized the boss trainer Staraptor that's gigawalled by a Magnemite is actually environmental storytelling, not just dog shit game balancing. Because that is what it is. It is dog shit game balancing. 
Like, Larry is far and away, like, not the only trainer that has a terrible team. Like, Iono's Belly Bolt, I think, has two moves. What's the environmental storytelling there? Oh, Iono is a streamer, so she's busy. She doesn't have time to put moves on her Belly Bolt. <laughs> I, I, I don't even know how to respond to this. Like, the mental gymnastics people are going through to make up excuses for this is insane. I made that one up, by the way. The Iono thing was, was me pretending I had brain poisoning. <laughs> Environmental storytelling of shit teams. Somebody said I'm not going to be gaslit into thinking the level 36 Star Raptor with two moves was a result of environmental storytelling and not a horrible team balancing issue. Awful take. It is an awful take. And then I saw a bunch of people that were like, oh, they only put two moves on there because the AI is so bad. They don't want the AI to mess up. And it's like, I I'm going to turn into the Joker. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go insane, actually. Like, nobody will jump through more hoops that are on fire and progressively getting smaller and smaller than Pokemon fans to defend... Oh, why, why even bother, like... <laughs> of, all, of all the things, it's that. Like, a gym leader having a Pokemon with only two moves is garbage. I, I, like, I saw somebody be like, well, facade in Japanese is something that's, like, funny for Larry. And it's like, okay. Well, why does that mean that he can't have more moves? Is Grush's ace. Yeah, exactly, Justin. Isn't it great so environmental storytelling? Like, this person is right. They are trying to, like, gaslight us. <laughs> I, I can't believe that. And again, I'm gonna come back to Gita again. I have to imagine that Gita's team was compiled before they, like, figured out what Glamora's ability was gonna be. Like, they were not cooking with her team. They actually, like, negatively affected Gita's image because they gave her such a shit team. <sighs> but yeah, sure, environmental storytelling. Okay. <laughs> I mean, Scarlet and Violet would have, might be one of the easiest Pokemon games ever. I saw a few people that struggle with, like, Leon in Sword and Shield. I can't recall anybody saying they've had any issues with any fight at any point in time in this game. Like, the Titans can appear like they're formidable bosses, but I wandered into Great Tusk way under leveled and still won like maybe you could have trouble with team stars rever room but besides that i i cannot think of a single spot where you would have any tr legitimate trouble in this game these games hold your hand as if you're they you're two years old Environmental storytelling. That's a new one. That That's a new one. I haven't heard that one before.
Yeah, Leon had some good Pokemon on his team. Gita has Avalug. Like... <laughs> It's, I don't know, man. They make these games brain dead easy. I've noticed that so much, though. Like, somebody points out... A, a weird game design design choice or a bad game design choice on Twitter, and then a million people have to like get their t their torches and their pitchforks and be like, um, actually, it's it's good environmental storytelling. Like, why do you feel the need to defend this billion dollar franchise? Like, your life depends on it. Yeah, you know what? Shout out to Nanu for real. Gen 7 had some great characters, man. What does that even mean? Like, environmental storytelling? What's a good example of environmental storytelling? It's when you're shown and not told information about a story or a character. Like in Steven Universe, when you have the, the strawberry fields and it's full of weapons and you can tell a battle went on. Or like, uh, maybe like a character has a scar and you can tell that, or, or is missing a, a body part or something and you can tell that they're battle worn or something like that. Yeah, the dead guardians in the grass. I was thinking about Zelda. I was like, I, I gotta be able to take an example from Zelda. <laughs> yeah, Breath of the Wild has a lot of great environmental storytelling. Also, I like Kabu too. If we're talking old man Pokemon, Kabu was my uh, favorite gym leader from Gen 8. Yeah, the Morse code for the Guardian. That's, I still am like blown away. Every time I think about that, I'm blown away by what an incredible detail that is. Hello. Oh, Opal? Yeah, Pokemon is full of a lot of neat older trainers. Like Agatha. I don't know, a gym leader looking for uh, an heir? <laughs> a replacement to their gym leader throne? is a really fun idea. I wish we had gotten more than like three sentences about it with Bead and Opal. Also, it was sweet because it's like she's, you know, taking him in after Rose abandoned him. Pink. That's a great question, Cacturn. Uh... Weird story coincidence? I don't even know. I, I do not remember. Yeah, 
he was his prized strong boy before he embarrassed him in public. Why is Mega Sableye a mistake? I don't know if PLZA doesn't have abilities. That would even out the playing field for a lot of Mega Evolutions. Calor. I always want to read color with a U as color. Come on, Squawkabilly. One of yous has got to be pink. Before I came over here, Chad, I never even, like, encountered white Squawkabilly. Like a Pokemon game in Massachusetts. <laughs> hey! Wait a second. Ooh, all right. Uh, not your turn, bud. Look at him. I really like Squawkabilly. I like it's shiny, too. He's just sitting there menacingly. All right. Let's see what you got, friend. Pinky. Like even the little the little talons match. Oh, this is such a fun Pokemon. The white looks really nice, actually. I mean I like all the colors, but the white the white be looking kind of nice, though. Alright! There's another color down, chat. So that makes three. So I have blue, green, and white. Uh... <laughs> Excuse? I do love that they have Intimidate. Alright, what do you got? Oh, it's sociable. Alright. Not my favorite, but it's fine. Why didn't I use a Premier Ball? Because I didn't want to. Alright, well, we're good here. I guess I'll go heal. Arizona got or Auror the the <laughs> the Aura region. Coliseum has such great vibes. I mean Gale of Darkness has a few fun places too, but 
That first starting area with the the diner and the train. Oh man. That hits. Filthy sleazy wasteland. Oh, do I want to check out Tadbulb, chat? I need to get it over with. I need to do Tadbulb. Oh, hey, there's Squawkabilly right there. I need yellow. I have all of those except for the yellow one. They're always... Ugh. This is the problem with Tadbulb. They're always in the worst... Not only is it a complete trash shiny, but they're in the worst locations. Yeah, th that's the thing. <laughs> I'm telling you, chat, when they pick a place in real life to base a region on, it's very paper thin. Like, there is no desert outside of New York City. What a... <laughs> It's kind of a crazy choice, guys. And sometimes they do some region- like, I feel like Alola was pretty... ...accurate, says somebody who's never been to Hawaii. <laughs> Is there just, like, one here? Where are the Tad's at? You see what I mean, chat? This is- this is a... ...fucking awful outbreak spot. <laughs> this is legitimately dreadful. No, no, no. Oh, we're not doing this one. There ain't no way. I'm gonna fly here and see if I can conjure small of. What's up, Litten? Thanks for the good luck. Alright, let's save and reset. See what we can get. What is today's actual date? 13th. A few days into the future. Well, there's Fletch Lane. Oink. Skidoo. It's so weird to see Amphro- like, Amphro spawn. Well, absolutely nothing there. Rotom. Venomoth. Cottony. That would be a big no. I'm telling you, chat, I await the day that Pokemon puts, like, a big jungle in their game. I've played Colosseum on the channel before. I don't remember if I uploaded the VOD to the VOD channel. I wouldn't mind doing, like, a yearly playthrough. I'm glad people appreciate Colosseum. That game catches a lot of strays, and like, yeah, it's not perfect. But... What Pokemon game is, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's it has flaws. So does every other Pokemon game. The vibes, though, immaculate. I don't know if I want to do Oshawott. Yeah, I could definitely play Colosseum again. I mean... <laughs> we have a long ways to wait until PLZA, so... Did any- did it- did it even change? 
Sometimes you change the date and it doesn't change. I like both Colosseum and Gale of Darkness, but I'd probably do Colosseum. And then maybe at a later time, follow that up with... with Gale. <laughs> How have they never given anything to, uh... the Grumpig? Yeah, Colosseum has the under. This is true. That's such a, that's like the one rare Pokemon game that actually kind of feels grimy. Again, immaculate vibes. I do need Bax Caliber. How bad is this outbreak? If it's decent, I could get Baxi and get that line done with. Baxi. What were they go? What like what was the design inspo for Grumpig? I'd I'd love to know. <laughs> I would love to know. Every Pokedex entry about Grumpig says people love its dancing, which is <laughs> very weird. Grumpig just loves to dance. I always forget I can fly in this game, chat. <laughs> One of those features where it's like, oh yeah, I could do that. Uh, okay. Yeah, this will be fine. What pseudos do I even need left? I think I might need, like, Matang. <laughs> I think I might need Matang and, like... Shellgon? Question mark? What even just happened there? Mushy Mush just went on its raft. I would really love for the next Pokemon game to not have a snow area. <laughs> I would be fine, thrilled even, if we could take a break from these... ...really not impressive and kind of eyesore cold areas. Just put all the ice types in, like, an underground cavern with, like, ice crystals. Do, like, area zero, but ice. I don't need another godforsaken snowy area. Consistently the worst parts of any Pokemon game. Yeah, they added snow to Mount Silver and Heart Gold and Soul Silver. And can I be honest, Jack? Can I be real? I don't know if I like that change. Like the original Mount Silver and going into that big cavernous. Can Satato go away? Thanks. Going into that big uh, cavernous room. And it's like a long corridor, and it's just dark all around. That's way better. Wrong pe a wrong opinion alert. Takes one to know one, huh, Cacturn? I don't know, there's just something not as cool about it. It's probably just my nostalgia speaking. 
but like the snowy mountain just doesn't hit as hard. Maybe because that was like peak Gen 4 era and I just despise snow point. <laughs> Yeah, Red has to be standing out in the snow instead of a cool-ass cave. Also, I do not like traversing new Mount Silver. It really is wild that they've never had a final battle that cool ever since. And that we know of like two different scrapped fights that could have come close that they just got rid of. I think about that all the time. I thought that Bergmite was shiny for a second. It looked vaguely yellow. How could they make a fight cooler than that? I feel like... I, honestly, I'm gonna say it's easy. <laughs> have a compelling, cool character. And have some good presentation and some good music. And a fun team. I think Volo is maybe the only other time that they've come close. Because Volo was a twist villain. And then he pulled- he pulled out Tina, like... Come on. <laughs> And that, that remix of Giratina's theme is so good. It's epic, it's intense. It's perfect. Yeah, when, when I first fought Volo, I was like, oh, it's just Cynthia's music, but a piano. Mwah. But wait, there's more. <laughs> But wait, there's more. Yeah, I actually really like the fight with Kukui and Sun and Moon. I don't recognize Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Those didn't... I don't... <laughs> Hashtag not, not my sequel to Sun and Moon. I really like the champion fight. Music from Gen, Gen 7 has so much good music. The Elite Four theme is really great, too. I don't know, what are some other, like, really cool climactic battles in Pokemon chat? I mean, the final fight in Colosseum is pretty fun. Talk about another twist villain. Maybe not as compelling as Volo was, but... Yeah, that's what I love about it. It was all over the advertising for Sun and Moon. And then as soon as you heard that song, when you started fighting him, it was like, oh shit. <laughs> it's so good. What even was that final Lysander fight where he brings out his, like, Apple Vision Pro? <laughs> like... 
Why did they give him a bunch of stupid ass goofy technology? Every time I think about Gen 6, this horrendous story, I I'm so perplexed. <laughs> this vexes me. Alright, we got our icy chicken nuggets down. Now we just gotta find a vaguely pink one. Is it gonna let me do a picnic here or is it gonna get upset? Okay, it's fine. I don't know, Lysander was already, like, not cool. And so they were like, what if we make him even less, like, what if we amplify his, lame his lameness tenfold? I don't even feel like that fits for the character, like... <laughs> it's just so... Per I'm perplexed. I, I, I am perplexed. Oh, speaking of Lysander, Silver. <laughs> nice. What's your, uh, what's your team you're using so far? When I go back and play through Gen 6 again, who do I want to put on my team? I think I'm going to take Fennec in as my starter. It's hard to fight the old reliables. Like, I'm immediately like, I should go back to the swamp and catch another Goomy. <laughs> Goomy, take two. I used Halucha, Gudra, Greninja. Um, who else did I use? That's a shiny Sneasel. That's shiny S Chat- Or, uh, future YouTube commenters. What's a shiny you just have, like, way too many of? Uh, for me it's this. For me it's this. Actually, I caught Drifloon, uh, like, 40 minutes ago, so... Drifloon and Sneasel. For sure. They do be loving to show up, let me tell ya. <laughs> this is like shiny Sneasel number like eight or something like that. I'm maximizing my Sneasel profits. Chansey, Swablu, Psyduck. Real. Midnight, your your comment got held back for misogyny. Low kicks, Lechonk. Real. All of these are real. It highlighted I hate female. <laughs> People can come in here- the bots can come in here and post like, wanna be famous and they don't get- they don't get, uh, they don't get got, but... They'll, uh, they'll take you down for saying you don't like female Sneasel. You're right, by the way. That's one of many gender differences that is just fucking garbage. Complete trash. It's like- there's a few from Gen 2. It's like Heracross. 
What if the female had a sh shorter horn and it was heart shaped? <laughs> What if I put a landmine in your house? <laughs> that was a joke! That was a joke. That was a joke. How does that one TikTok go where there's a frog? It's like, one problem. I have put a landmine in your house and you do not know where it is. <laughs> I don't know who's even responsible for female hair across, but on site with them. Yeah, why why don't they why didn't they just make all all the female ones have lipstick and and giant eyelashes? Oh no wait, that's an amorous. Yeah, give it- give it a huge rack, even if it's a bug. Because it's a female, right? That's... That's how we design things in the 1940s? The Twitch PFP change? Oh yeah, I guess I should mention, I did rebrand, uh... Basically everything. I mean, nobody ever uses that Slowpoke emote. I don't really... Like, don't get me wrong, I love Slowpoke, but... I feel like it's not reflective... ...of... ...my brand. So everything has been booperized, including the Discord. I've been wanting to reorganize the Discord for a while. the retired channels. They were either- all the channels I got rid of were either dead or... It's like, I don't- I don't know why people are posting stuff in here like that. <laughs> so, vanquished. I don't know, it's just- just a way to clean up everything. I kept all the- all the- Ones that, you know, like, show off your shinies is still there, of course. TCG, merch news. I'll probably delete those, or maybe make them invisible. All the channels that are to be retired. Or are retired. Who knows? Maybe I'll- maybe we can resurrect, like, Animal Crossing whenever a new one comes out. Also, reminder, no advertising in my Discord? Like... I don't want to see anybody's affiliate links. I don't want to see advertisements for other people's streams or anything like that. My Discord is not your your dumping ground for that trash. Why does anybody want to see that? A Mario channel? Would you just post Toadette every day, midnight? <laughs> also, I updated Wholesome to be pets, so if anybody ever wants to share any pictures of pets... Yeah, post that in art, midnight. That's where that would belong.
I mean, I legit like seeing people shinies. That's that's pretty much why I made the Discord. I like seeing people shinies. I like seeing people's TCG pulls. I don't like seeing people's random weird bullshit. <laughs> that just really doesn't belong in my Discord. love the map. The mini-map showing me, like, Snover, Dreadnought, Magneton, and Glaceon. Like, just show me what I'm right on top of, which would be my outbreak. YouTubers who yell, what do you mean? What's up, guys? It's your boy, Jimmy Spaghetti, Back at it again! Why did I see Grievard and think that was an item? I kind of- I, I very much disagree with that take. People like that dude are boring as hell. There's a happy medium, you know? Uh-oh, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Zoinks. High, high energy? It's to appeal to children. That's why they do it. That's why so many shiny hunters are, you know, should should they should have been nominated for the Oscars the other day. <laughs> oh my god! And then it's like a shiny bergmite or something. <laughs> Holy shit! It's bergmite. Red Kyarados and gold after all. That's a great video idea, Justin. You should run with that one. <laughs> Get your uh, your pog clickbait face ready. Your shiny hunter thumbnail face. Shiny Gyarados and only one reset. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <sighs> People that overreact to Nintendo Directs. Nintendo hasn't given us anything to really react to lately. There hasn't been any, like, holy shit moments, you know? The biggest reaction I can remember having out of a Direct is, like, when Sand showed up in... The the smash. <laughs> Welcome back. Sam. Forty booper, please. Forty booper, please. Coming right up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty, thirty, forty. Thanks for the forty months, train. Welcome back. Your forty boopers. As a me costume. Like, when I heard Megalovania, it's like my brain short-circuited. <laughs> and then we got the fun story with him and, and Toby Fox. Oh, man. The Banjo-Kazooie one was pretty... was pretty fun, too. Especially since I watched a few reactions and, like, nobody reacted to the Jiggy. It's like... Oh, we got some frauds. <laughs> we got 
We got some Banjo Kazooie frauds out here. What color is shiny friggy backs? Well, it's. I don't. How do I even describe it? Let me go find mine. I need to get Bax Caliber. There it is. It's kind of a bluish color. Yeah, it's well, yes. <laughs> I you you want to look for the pink ribbons. So it's kind of bluer and it has the the little pink things coming off of the arms. That's always what I look for anyway. It's not great. We've had some really good pseudo shinies. I don't think this is one of them. It's okay, I guess. Like, coming off from, like, Dragapult, I, I feel like big downgrade, shiny-wise. Yeah, instead of the yellow, look for- look for pink. Metagross has the best shiny of all the pseudos. Who's the best pseudo shiny, chat? Sound off. Do you agree? Is it Metagross? Or is it Garchomp? <laughs> I couldn't even say that one without laughing. Uh. Or Dragonite. I probably would agree that Metagross is the, the cleanest one. But I do really like Coma O's. I'm gonna I'm gonna shout out Coma O's. Titar. Yeah, Gudra's is good, too. I do like Gudra's. Dragonite's has been made less ugly. <laughs> Nobody said Salamence. Where's my green shiny appreciators? Frigibac sounds like a cat. Yeah, it's custardy. And Go Gumi keeps the whole- it, like, it's consistent throughout the whole line. But here's the thing, chat. Gumi's line? Great shinies. Hisui- 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 Hisui Slagu and Gudra? Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
I think a, I don't know, like, fairy is probably what most people would say. What about, like, a bug fairy? Or poison fa- poison fairy could be neat. I don't know, what about something like fire water? How about another fire water besides just Volcanion? Hee <laughs> hee, look at the way they run. Regibax is very cute. What bug would I combine with a fairy for a pseudo? Hmm. An inchworm. <laughs> I, I don't know. I would have to think about that. There's only about a bajillion different types of insects, arachnids, etc, etc. Another fairy steel? That would be cool, too. Bug flying. A worm on a string. <laughs> hey, I would unironically love an inchworm. That'd be fun. A bed bug? Look, we're going back to Kalos, chat. Paris is infested with bed bugs. It would make perfect sense. <laughs> New bed bug Pokemon. I'm surprised there aren't more, like, parasite Pokemon. You have a few, like, Parasite Parasite from Yu-Gi-Oh. There are not a lot of true creepy crawlers. Like, yeah, where's my tapeworm Pokemon? <laughs> Even, like, Fermosa. Fermosa is like a cockroach. Which are pretty disgusting insects. Depending on who you ask. But it's yassified. It ain't scary. Lice. Ooh, that would be a good Pokemon. It could, like, infest your Pokemon so it would force you to, like, clean them. Or, like, a, a flea. Random shiny appear? That has happened twice tonight. I got a Drifloon and I just found a, yet another shiny Sneasel. Looking for my shiny chicken nugget. We just got one of what I would consider one of the creepier creepy crawlies in Senti Scorch. But Senti, even Senti Scorch, like, I love Senti Scorch. I do not appreciate centipedes in real life the way I appreciate uh, Senti Scorch and Sizzlepede. A butterfly Pokemon that sucks blood. I would love to see, like, Zubat turn into a, a scary vampire bat or something like that. Or you could give it eyes and make it cute, because there's a lot of very cute bats. Make it a fruit bat or something. Oh, yeah, Gliscor. You're right. Gliscor is very cool, though, so... <laughs> Gliscor and Gligar are two of my faves. What about a Tick Pokemon, chat? 
it has like a special ability where it can latch on to your to your Pokemon and maybe it has like a similar effect of like popping a citrus berry. Or maybe every turn it can get like leftovers type recovery. But you could stack leftovers on it. I don't see Joltik as a tick at all. That is a spider. That is a little jumping spider. Wait, are we- are we talking about mosquitoes? Cause that's very... That's how mosquitoes work, but we do have buzzwool. I'm surprised there's not another, like, a Hornet Pokemon besides Beedrill and... Well, Beedrill and Vespiquen are bees. Where's the Japanese Death Hornet Pokemon, chat? <laughs> Buzzwool isn't mosquito-y enough for ya. You don't like your mosquitoes to be hella buff? <laughs> to be absolutely stacked, muscles on muscles? Beedrill's name could be like Wasp in Japanese and I would still always see it as a bee because of its English name. A fat ass bumblebee. <laughs> Maybe like a a comb bee regional variant. It can leave the comb. Combi's original design was originally kind of gross. You you could actually see that they were like individual little grubs in there. I mean, that's what they are, but the way it's beta design portrayed it, I see why they changed it. I'll say that. <laughs> Ninety percent of combies are male. That makes perfect sense. See, for all the dumb shit they do for, like, female hair across, whatever, like, Vespiquen and, and Combi, I feel like, are fine. Like, yeah, there's the Queen Bee. That's real. Get stick bugged. <laughs> I would love a fire pseudo. I'm gonna stick with fire. I just want more fire Pokemon. I had a wasp try to build a, a nest in my window last year. It was only like two of them. They assembled that comb very quickly before I got him out of there. Ugh, wasps are gross. Like, f fellas, can you not? <laughs> can you not set up base in my window? That'd be great, thanks. Aren't they the worker bees? I don't know. I don't know my bee lore. <laughs> Apparently. Ice electric pseudo? Fire electric would be good because literally the only other fire electric Pokemon is Rotom.
That blows. Every time I think about that, it's like, <laughs> how? Fire and electric have been in the game since day one. And the only combo we have is Rotom Heat. Huh? Huh? <laughs> I, like, that's inexcusable. I mean, I love Rotom Heat, don't get me- <laughs> We just- we just need more than one. Yeah, exactly. The Rotom forms legitimately were exciting for Platinum. I remember the initial build-up for Platinum and... seeing Rotom turn into all those fun, colorful forms got me excited. Usually not great moves. Yeah, I can't think of the last time I've seen Rotom in competitive. It used to be all over the place. But... It's a sad day when even Rotom gets... Power crept. No, we've been doing so well without an awful snowstorm. Goodbye, frame rate. Rotom Fan is the worst one. Both in terms of usability and also it's definitely my least favorite design. Like, it already has Levitate. Like, it just doesn't benefit. I don't know. Its design just doesn't hit. Hard-hitting grass types? Like, who? Why did I think of, like, good grass types? I thought of Terrastalize Heatran. <laughs> That's- Heatran is my favorite grass type, actually. Yeah, Rillaboom. That's a good example. It's crazy how good starters are nowadays versus ye olden times. Like, talk about power creep. All the starters are almost all good now. Like, Rillaboom is insane. That Pokemon is so good. Yeah, Incineroar, exactly. And even, like, Meowskarata might not be tearing up VGC, but it has, you know, Protean. <laughs> Compare that to, like, I don't know, Gen 4, Gen 2 starters. Gen 5. I mean, Superior has Contrary, which is fun, but it just it just needs a little bit more. Yeah, fire could use about a million other type combos than fighting. I need them to kind of reduce fighting types in general. We have way too many fighting starters. No more. <laughs> no, like, I, I'm good on a nice long break for dark and fighting. Honestly, ghosts, too. Like, especially when you think about the Hisui starters. We're getting so many repetitive typings.
what types would I like to see in the ne- in the blah 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 in the next gen? Fire ground would be a- any fire types. I will take any. <laughs> fire water though is my is my big dream. We gotta get another fire water besides Volcanion. Yeah, dragon was why fairy existed. Dragon was a very strong type, especially since. You know, things like ice are very... <laughs> like, there's a few good ice Pokemon. But... I don't know. It's hard to speculate about starters because, like, are they ever going to be bold enough to... do, like, grass electric? Then you could do water ground, although that would just be Swampert. I wouldn't mind if they changed up the typings, like, entirely. Like, imagine if they went with Poison Dragon and Fairy or something like that. I need them to reach into their type bag and pull out something besides ghost fighting in dark. Like, do rock. Do... We don't have a lot of steel starters. Like, what, we have Empoleon? Make all three starters fire. <laughs> the first generation where all three starters are fire types. <laughs> Glorious new fire empire. Exactly, Midnight. Fairy Steel. I don't know about fighting, though. <laughs> I don't know about fighting. Fire shouldn't be so hard to find compared to grass and water. Right? Like, think of how much you use heat every day. You use it to heat your homes, you use it to cook your food. Feel like it's well represented. Maybe in some gens. Most. Like, you can't honestly tell me you think the fire types in Gen 4 are good. I refuse to hear any of that. <laughs> I mean, I'd say Gen 1 has a good bit of good fire types Ponyta, Rapidash, Arcanine, Growlithe. Magmar. Great stuff. But even then, that's such a small handful compared to how many damn-ass fish water birds we have. Oh, what are the pre-order bonuses? Oh, they're keychains. Those are cute. I like the box art for Thousand Year Door. Nice box art. Goombella. Galoomba. That's my favorite Mario enemy, the Galoomba. Which type has the fewest Pokemon? Poison. Maybe. Which type has the fewest Pokemon? It's not water. It's not normal. 
Not grass. Berry is new. So that would be a good guess. Ice, steel, those are both good guesses. It's not flying types. <laughs> I can tell you it's not I can tell you all the types that are not <laughs> the least the least uh, common. <laughs> yeah, there really are not a lot of ice pokemon. Oh, what's up to struggle? Berry is 69. Nice. Ice only has 58. Like, does that include regional forms? 58 out of, like, a thousand something is really bad. <laughs> that is tragic. We have, like, 50% of all ice types right here, chat. <laughs> Sneasel, Cub, Chew, Snow Run, Satotl. Snover, Snow Run. Let's see, there's what, three ice legendaries? Kiram, Kuno, and Glass Deer. This is a precarious mountain to be on top of. This is why I hate this snow area. There are more dragons than ghost types. Does that surprise you? It doesn't surprise me. They love dragons. Dragons are marketable. I mean, hell, we've had a dragon pseudo for over every gen for over a decade now. Oh, and Reggie Ice. How could I forget about Reginald Ice? For shame. A hundred and fifty nine water types? That doesn't seem right. I'm pressing X to doubt right now. Oh, yeah, and, Ch and Chien Pao. How could I forget Long Cat? It seems too low. Like, I feel like there's over two hundred waters. Charmeleon, Wartortle, Mewtwo, Tentacool, Aerodactyl, I'm a Knight, Slowpoke, Pidgeot, Arbok. Sometimes I want to say Pidget, like they say in the the actual song. <laughs> My favorite Pokemon, Pidget. Catch him, catch him, gotta catch him all, gotta catch him all, Pokemon. Mega Obama Snow was underrated, was it? Was it though? <laughs> I would have guessed either normal or flying for second place. Gotta catch them all, Pokemon. I think the gold and silver poker wrap has a weird pronunciation in it too. I can't remember which Pokemon it is. Okay, hey, good. The storm finally let up. Oh, 
Hello. Yeah, there's a Gen 3 poker app. Isn't the Gen 3 one has a, have a lot of misper- Yeah, it says like Grudon and Kyog. Kyogre or something like that. Groudon is such an insane one to say incorrect. Ground. Groudon. Kyogre. My two favorite legendaries, Groudon and Kyogre. I love how they paid somebody to make that and, like, didn't have somebody there in the recording booth to tell them how to pronounce the names correctly. Whoops. I always like the gold and silver wrap the most. I mean, the first one's iconic. But sometimes the, uh... The gold-silver one hits. Oh, the Pokemon Stadium. <laughs> oh, there's so many mispronunciations in that one, it's... Like, how do you mispronounce seismic? That is a real word. They say seismic in Pokemon Stadium. Like, it's a salad. Seismic. Bedlam. Yeah, it's from the 10th anniversary album. Was it the 10th anniversary? It's like Pokemon X or something like that. E O K E M O N party. God, did they get every name wrong in <laughs> Gen 3? How did they say- did they say like Lanuni? Li- Lyun? Lyun? <laughs> How do they say Lyun? <laughs> I was watching uh, somebody earlier and they- Said, G like, Girados. That's a funny one. P -p -p party And in the gold-silver wrap, when they say smooch him, there's a kiss noise. How do Moctillery Whooper Mareep? I've never said Mareep. I've always said Mareep. They say Mareep. I know, Cacturn. That's one of those things that keeps me up at night. I fully- I- I 1000% agree. I will never say Arceus. I know how it was intended. Europeans can't take this for me. Passius. <laughs> Get on top, Meryl Umbreon Bayleaf.
the instead of, of of like ever being good at something like math chat, I choose to store in my brain uh, the poker raps <laughs> instead. <laughs> that's uh, you know, that's just kind of how it be. Instead of useful life information, uh, I can recite two generations of the poker rap. Yeah, the poker rap wasn't the only good Gen 1 song. I'm sorry, but the Horizons dub song is not. The intro to Horizons, I do not care for it. Has anybody watched the dub, by the way? Is it good? On the road to Viridian City! Omastar. Omastar. I'll be right back, chat. I gotta get some water. I come back and I'm in a battle. What what happened? Team Rockets rockin'. What did I miss? Did five shinies spawn? I was really hoping Frigibacks would show up quickly so I could get this line done with. They were all Sneasel. Of course. <laughs> Classic Sneasel. Whooper, Mary, Pitmontop, Maryl, Umbreon, Bayleaf. I think I had Meryl out of place there.
Okay, chat. Now you're you. <laughs> I'm wanting to listen to it. You can all you you. <laughs> Agron was base boosted. What? Hold on. Hold on. Let's let's take a listen, chat. Why does it sound so dopey? This is gonna get muted on YouTube, by the way. If you're listening to the YouTube bot and suddenly something just like vanishes, it's because I had to cut this out. Wait, why did it show the Japanese logo? Is this somebody's AMV they made on YouTube? Oh, Tabitha. It's such a shame what they did to you, my man. This this is not a good song. Linoon. <laughs> Linoon. I have heard people say Linoon before, chat. I've heard people say Linoon. Gosh, this is like the crustiest video I've ever seen, chat. It's like five pixels. <laughs> what? Who? Combustin? <laughs> no! No, I'm mishearing. They didn't say combustin, right? No. Combustin? No. Combustin. Combustin makes me feel good. <laughs> no. Chad, nobody said combustin. <laughs> Combustin makes me feel good. That is insane. Why are they going in order, by the way? Not order, but like this is all the early decks. The poker rap is supposed to like go all over the place. They're doing like all the starters in like low tad. Why? Nuzleaf. God, this is a fucking dreadful song. This has no spice, chat. The first two have spice, they have soul. This is empty, hollow. I've gotta- I've gotta get to the... Tropius? Did I just hear Tropius? There's like 30 seconds of nothing. I gotta get to the names. Red Ice. Red Ice sounds like a computer program. Red Ice. Reg. Like, it doesn't even work for Reggie Steel. Reg Steel. Reg Ice. Reg Steel, Reg Rock. On my right, Reg Ice, Reg Steel, Reg Rock. Yeah, they, they don't even. Say <laughs> you can't say Reg Ice. It's Reggie. You can't say Reg Rock and Reg Steel. Tropius. <laughs> it's like tropical. It's trop trop. Oh boy. This is causing me more pain than I was, uh... Than I was anticipating. <laughs> Dust Claw. Why- what does he say here? Dust Claw. Does he say Dust Claw? Dust Claw. Hold on, I need to turn- Dust Claw. Dust Claw. Who is Dusclaw? 
It's like they're trying to say dust clops, but it didn't come out right. Rock the night. Dust club. Dust claw. <laughs> this is so littered with errors. Oh my god. Dust claws, Krabby is Chameco. 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 Gorbis. Gorbis. He said Gorbis instead of, I've, I've always said like Gorbis. Gorbis. Love this bagon, shagon, bagon. Love this bagon, shagon, bagon. Beep. The way this guy is saying words. Armaldo, Feebos, my Fe Feebos. He said Feebos. Instead of Feebas, Feebos. My Lotic. Yo, where are you at, chat? <laughs> Bennett. Bain Wait, how did he say it? Ban it. He said ban it. We gotta ban it, chat. Bennett has been banned. Ban it. Ban it. <laughs> chat, I'm sorry. We gotta ban it. <laughs> Ban it! That's that's not even close. Ban it. Bedlam. He really does say bedlam. You are all right. Bedlam. And the clip that this that this has is be is I almost said bel bedlam. <laughs> is Beldum on Giovanni? What the hell episode is that from? Bedlam. It's my favorite college football Pokemon. <laughs> Bedlam. <laughs> Groudon! The Groudon into the Kyogre! Kyogre! He doesn't- he says Kyogre! No. <laughs> oh, I think I've- we've gone through this before, chat, and it's so bad, I think I tried to purposely erase it from my memory. I'm getting, like, deja vu that we've listened to this before, and I think it was so bad, I erased it from my memory. <laughs> this is- this is simply too much. Bill- Well Rain. Well Rain. Well Rain. E-O-A-K-E-M-O-N. Harry. <laughs> Harry Yama. Yeah. <laughs> You're a wizard, Harry Yama. <laughs> Harry Yama. I'm gonna say it like that now, chat. Harry. Emphasize the Harry. <laughs> what? I was gonna pause for the. Loudred. The way he says these, like it's loud, loud, loudred. Why is it so loud? Agron. Whoa! Take it easy, man. He was a little aggressive for Agron. Agron. Maywile. My man just said Maywile. 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 It's a W, not a Y. <laughs> Say, it's been a Maywile. 
off and bigger rock. Meanwhile, Taylor, Aaron, Electra, Manetric, Quasel, Lara, who you like? Requaza, Ninjas. Okay, he says Requaza, right? It's fine, chat. All sins forgiven. <laughs> he said Requaza, right? You get a pass. Ninjisk? 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 Ninjisk. 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 Curlia. That's like saying curly. Mmm, cur Curlia. <laughs> I'm surprised they got masquerine right. This is a very bad song. Oh my god. Now we make it real quiet just for a few. Jirachi, Deoxys, Celebi, and you. Now we bring it back. Me Mew is not Gen 3. Why is Mew in here? What? I'm legitimately bamboozled by that. <laughs> they just threw Mew in here. Yeah, we just got some Poke Rap ASMR chat. I'm frightened. Mew? Mew is not Gen 3. Yeah, he said. Wait. Yeah, Mew. He's going over the mythicals. Except Celebi and Mew are not from Gen 3. What? <laughs> also, why is he whispering? Be quiet just for a few. Jirachi, Deoxys, Celebi. Deoxys. I'm pretty sure he's saying Deoxys. And Mew. Now we bring it back again for Turkle and Spoink. Nummel and Cam robs rock in this joint. <laughs> Nummel and Camerupt rocking this joint. I need to incorporate that into my everyday speech chat. I just need to randomly when I'm out just say Nummel and Camerupt rocking this joint. <laughs> Nummel and Camerupt. Nummel and Camerupt. Camerupt. Rosalia. 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 That's my favorite Mario character. <laughs> Rosalia. Carvana. Carvana. Illumise. Illumise. Mm, what you Illumise? Okay, to be fair to that guy, Illumise stumped me for years. I'll give him that one. <laughs> I'll give him that one. Carbano, Sharpedo, Willer, I see ya, Willer, and Lumise. Illumise. Ooh, Illumise. Me and my noon. Everyone's. My noon? <laughs> my noon? My noon. How did he get plus all right but not minin? It's plus and minus. My noon? They will be and my noon. My noon. My noon. <laughs> my noon. How do you get that wrong? It's plus and minus. Did this guy just get like one take? And that's it? They only let this guy have one take? They had five minutes in the studio and then they had to get out of there? Oh god, it's not over. Everyone stay with because the end is coming soon. Thank god. Thank you. I don't know if I could take anymore. Coming soon. Fredilly. Fredilly. People pay attention, cause that's not all. We got Voltoy, crawled on, Corfish, and Wizcash, Barbo. Wizcash. 
Whiz cash. Whiz. Whiz cash. Zangoose. I've always said Zongoose. What? What? Is he saying cacturn cur is he saying cacturn or cockturn? It sounds so garbled. Also, it immediately shows like evil ash. It's taking me out. I can't tell if he's saying cockturn or cacturn. <laughs> They just spelled out Kecnia. They didn't say it. Cockturn. <laughs> mm, my favorite Pokemon is mm, Cockturn. <laughs> uh, chat. I think that was the end. I think we're missing a few guys. Yeah, somebody said, uh, where's Relicanth? They didn't include Zigzagoon. They threw in Celebi and Mew and forgot Relicanth and Zigzagoon. What the hell is this? What happened here? I like how people are gassing this song up in the comments, chat. This has a lot of flaws, but it's really catchy. Uh, is it? Are you sure about that? Are, are, you don't have to- you don't have to gas this song up. <laughs> Bedlam. Trico and Torchic in the- Trico? When he said Trico is pronounced, that sounded right to me. They forgot Zigzagoon and Relicanth. Oh, Trico is misspelled. Trico. Yes, it is misspelled. They misspelled Trico. Why did they include Mew and Celebi and not Zigzagoon and Relicanth? I... I am beside myself. Somebody said this is the awkward youngest brother to the Poke Rap trio. This one with d dyslexia. <laughs> Why was Mew- I do- I know we've listened to this before, I don't remember Mew and Celebi being snuck in here. That is wild. Rose- Rosalina. They weirdly kind of went in order, too? Like, that's not the point. You know? Where's Torkoal? I didn't even hear Torkoal. The gang's all here. Lies! The gang is not all here! <laughs> this is some lies! Will Rain. I've been assaulted by so many mispronunciations. I I <laughs> Hariyama. Hariyama. <laughs> Agron. I should make that like on my soundboard. I should put all these on my soundboard. They're all so funny. 
They also show like the intro to the anime for oh, Mew. Again, but... Oh, there's Turkle. Turkle. And... Turkle. <laughs> they spell it wrong too. They spell it like the guy says it. T U R K O A L. That's that's crazy. I... I don't know what they were cooking, chat. I don't know what they were cooking with that one. Here, if you if you would like to listen yourself. There it is. The person who uploaded it has a Shadow the Hedgehog icon and their name is exceedingly Shadow. Hell yeah. Only Agron. Agron. I should add more base boost to it. I should just ex <laughs> I should just blow it up. Agron. <laughs> that is like that's official. Can you imagine them releasing something like that today? Imagine they release like a Scarlet Violet Poke Wrap. And they were like, Goldango. Oh man. Yeah, that was real, chat. I don't think they had nearly a fraction of the budget they had for the first two. That- wow. Turkle. Oh, Exceeding Shadow has the, uh, the Johto version, too. Which is great. Listen to this- Listen to this sick-ass intro. Oh, it doesn't have the intro! No, 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 I must fix this. Pokerap Gen 2. It's GS! It's Pokerap GS. Here it is. Hard. Also, oh my god, totally Pokemon. Music from the hit TV series as seen on Kids WB. <sighs> Just give me one day, I gotta go back. <laughs> Just give me one day. I love the, the gold silver one. It's so good. So good. Yeah, as somebody that loves synths injected into my veins. It's very of the time, too. It doesn't sound like a Nick Jr. song, like the- the Gen 3 one does. Wow, they have comments turned off. <laughs> what happened? Let me find- there's like another cool part of the song. I'm gassing up the GS poker rap. Like they gotta catch them all in it, man. That's such a classic. Look at that Torchic. That's cool as hell. That wand. Man, I miss this era. Entire thing memorized. <laughs> I don't know what that says about me as a person, but I do. 
Like the little kiss with Smoochum. Oh, perfection. This is... Now this is music. Yeah, people always dump on four kids, but a lot of effort was put into this stuff back in the day. I can't ride Corrid on here. Okay, game. Sure. I don't know. I I don't understand why at least the the cast, not the corporation, get dunked on. They all did a great job. Yeah, that Yeah, yeah. She went hard for that. She put her whole soul into that. <laughs> Oh, the original Poké Rat makes me think of all the VHSs in that one commercial. That one bus driver commercial. Tat, you have to you have to watch the bus driver commercial. I'm going to put it on stream. I hate when YouTube plays before you get a chance to like stop it. This is the this is one of my all time favorite commercials. No lie. Hold on, I gotta resize it. Not like it would be widescreen. Hey, little buddy, wanna ride? Pikachu! Pikachu! Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'll be right back. Where can you catch all 150 Pokemon? This actor does such a good job. Yeah. On your Game Boy, that's where. Pokemon Fuck yeah. Game Boy is here. With both packs, you can catch them all. <laughs> Games and systems sold separately. Oh, man. What a great commercial. And they're all watching him on the bus. <laughs> Look at, like, Muck and Chansey, Ekans, Primate. <laughs> This is such a great commercial! Dragonite is in the back! I saw Ominite? Is that Ominite or Amist- Yeah, Ominite. <laughs> Where can you catch all 150 Pokemon? Got ya. On your Got ya. Game Boy, that's where. On your Pokemon Game Boy, game that's Boy where. Here. With both packs, you can catch them all. <laughs> Games and systems sold separately. Oh, hell yeah. That's so- oh. Just give me one day. <laughs> Just give me one day. It does! He does remind me of Bulk from Power Rangers, Justin. I totally get what you mean. I love that the Pikachu went, Pikachu! <laughs> yeah, whatever. Pikachu! That commercial is so goaded. That's probably my favorite commercial of all time. And it was on every single Pokemon VHS, so I have seen that a lot. <laughs> I have seen that commercial a lot. One, one of these days, chat, I should just do a stream where we just watch, like, old gaming Pokemon commercials. Yeah, like, what commercials does this game have? <laughs> I mean, does Pokemon even need to market anymore? That's the thing. Back in Gen 1, they, you know, they wanted American audiences to buy in. Yes, the Kimba one. Oh my god. 
That brought back like a, a, a memory. Yeah, the Kimba the White Lion ones. Legit never seen this. It's 30 minutes? Oh, it's a collection. Ugh, I... I gotta be honest, chat. The stock footage of, like, young, pretty, like, stock millennial actors with their Switch... Lop. Like, even going back to the Switch's reveal where they had, like, all these millennials chilling on their roof playing the Switch, it's like... Does anybody buy this shit? And train in the newly evolved open world Pokemon Adventure. Open world, huh? <laughs> the open world of the Paldea region awaits. Paldea. You can encounter legends. Why is Lucario in the commercial? The only Pokemon that help you cover more terrain in this new expansive world. New expansive world. All right, fellas. There's like a massive section just for the Czech Republic in Poland. <laughs> the last Pokemon commercial of any note that I remember, and I'm curious, how many of you guys remember this? Is the Super Bowl Pokemon Go commercial? Do any of you remember what I'm talking about? That is the last Pokemon commercial of any note. Any- any importance that I remember. Pokemon Go to the Polls was just something Hillary Clinton said. It wasn't a commercial. Or was it? I don't even remember. I thought she just said that. God, what a- Did you not know the the origin of that phrase? <laughs> yeah, is this it? Yeah, let's let's watch the Super Bowl commercial chat. Gotcha. I remember it was like, everybody was like, oh my god. There's a Pokemon Super Bowl commercial. I can do that. This is a very uh, generous, action-packed interpretation of what playing Pokemon Go looks I like. Why does this- why does this girl look like the, uh, the ice princess from Sharkboy and Lava Girl? Is anyone seeing this? Or is that just me? Look at her girl bossing the chess sets. We love to see a queen succeed. This is so dramatic. Look, 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 look. That was Blaine's badge. That was, that was, uh... Yeah, look at the fire. The fire badge. Blaine's badge. We can do this! I don't think I ever knew that. I ever caught that before. Like, no one ever was. Mega Lucario. Were Megas in Pogo at the time this came out? Look at that realistic Pikachu. Why does this feel like it was 50 years ago, chat? What is that thumbnail? <laughs> does that squirrel have blood on its mouth? Shark Boy and Lava Girl is peak cinema. You're so right. This Squirtle hungers for blood. C 
see see this lady right here this thumbnail with 9.8 million views like that's that's exactly what i'm talking about like stock millennial actor with their phone and their or their switch The way Gyarados flies is pretty cool. I also like to see Magneton, but... Yeah, Gyarados looks sick. That's what I remember the most from this trailer. I remember Gyarados being cool. Like, what does he even send out? Also, what kind of Pokemon battle is this? 4v4? <laughs> Or 3v- no, how many Pokemon are here? 1, 2, 3, 4- yeah, 4v4 with one Mega Evolution? Like... <laughs> okay. I wanna see the- look at the hyper-realistic Pikachu. You can do that. You can do that. You can buy- a, po a Pokemon Go ticket for $15 and get Mega Lucario candy. That was eight years ago? What the fuck? That was eight years ago? No. The fuck? Oh my god, eight years ago? What the fuck? Oh, I'm aging in real time. Oh, is this the millennial on the roof trailer? Yes. Oh, I love when they're playing basketball. That's my favorite part. Ew. Ew. No. The first video that's recommended to me is Jimmy Fallon debuts the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> no. No. That's I would I would literally rather watch anybody else talk about it. That's crazy. We're probably going to see something just like that in a few months, chat. That is probably how they're going to market Switch 2. That's crazy. Oh my god, you're right, Cactur! That's where that meme came from! You're right! Miyamoto thumbs up! I didn't even remember that. No, they cursed Miyamoto by being in the audience of Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> No. No, save him. Yeah, that's a classic. I also like the reverse when he does a- <laughs> they reverse it and he does a thumbs down. <laughs> Jimmy Fallon might be one of the least likable people on the face of the planet. Him, him and the other Jimmy, Kimmel, are both- so unlikable. Surprised, uh, Fallon could even- could even get through that film session without being blackout plaster drunk. Remember when it came out that he, like, abused his employees and nothing ever happened? Great. Yeah, Conan was the real goat. Let's be real. Did you know there's a universal uh, Jimmy Fallon ride in one of their theme parks? What a f what a complete waste. <laughs> I think I would rather 
stare at paint drying than want to go on a Jimmy Fallon ride. Yeah, he, he laughs the entire time and reaches over to touch you. He's always, like, touchy with his guests. And also blackout drunk. Fallon is, unless he's changed. I don't know. I have no... <laughs> My desire to... I, I just have no interest in any of those, like, late-night TV people anymore. Seth Meyers is okay. Because he's chill. Seth is the better SNL alumni given a late-night show. up vortex Jay Leno was like <laughs> I, who liked Jay Leno dominate YouTube's trending tab probably Colbert? My dad likes Colbert. He was funnier back when he had his own show. Now, now on late night, I don't know. It's just like... Yawn. I liked Craig Ferguson, too. That guy's a delight. Josh Hutcherson. I still see that godforsaken Josh Hutcherson meme everywhere I go. I never avoid it. Oh yeah, Butch Hartman's a real freak. I don't- I can't even begin to list off everything wrong with him. I do think the funniest thing of from uh, the Butch Hartman stuff, though, is when he took commissions, which is weird, and then traced over uh, a Mikasa drawing. Very funny. Like, if you had told me when I was watching, like, Fairly Odd Parents back in the day, this guy's gonna be busted for tracing other people's anime art. Uh, I probably would have laughed. Well, that's because TV shows take lots of production and crews. Like, Danny Phantom was not... Danny Phantom had a lot of other important people in the process that made Danny Phantom so good. I don't know, is this a hot take chat? I think the Fairly Odd Parents is very mid. Like, it's watchable, but is it one of my favorites from that period of time? No. Especially the later it got. Like, things like SpongeBob were way funnier. Jimmy Neutron had more charm.
like Cosmo and Wanda went from being a cute fairy couple to just woman nag, man dumb. And then they introduce the baby and the other little girl and the dog and it's like, oh. Oh no. Jimmy had a way more likable cast of characters in Fairly Odd Parents. Timmy sucks. Timmy is not a likable character whatsoever, and neither are any of the other people in the cast. His friends are all dicks, he's a dick. Nobody on that cast. Like, his parents are assholes, Vicky is an asshole. Cosmo and Wanda are cute when they're not bickering. See, the thing about babies, chat, is they're very marketable. That's why they, they instead of having a actually good movie, Incredibles 2 was like, what if we just put Jack-Jack and have wacky situations? So they can sell Jack-Jack merchandise. God, I hate Incredibles 2. God, I hate that movie. <laughs> Incredibles 1 is peak cinema. And then they're like, what if we just tell the same story again, but reverse the roles? Ooh, a shiny spoink? Nice. That's a great shiny. Yeah, like, even, like, Jimmy's dad is more funny than, than Timmy's dad. Like, sure, you have that. Here's where I would put it. If I had one! And the rivalry we had with Dinkleberg is always funny, but Jimmy's dad is just... He was great. You Neutron. That's my goat right there. <laughs> I never watched a ton of Hey Arnold. I definitely remember a select few episodes, but I don't have a fondness for it because I like everybody else because I never watched a ton of it. I did. I do like it. Looks like you're off to the Shadow Realm, Jimbo. <laughs> I, yeah, Helga kind of creeped me out as a kid. I remember finding her, like, not pleasant. Like, Arnold and all his friends were super chill, but she was kind of creepy. <laughs> I don't like stalker, annoying girl characters. But yeah, I know, her parents don't love her. Very sad, anyway. Doug. <laughs> Doug is another show I remember being kind of mid. Doug was a character I wanted to bully. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, like... It's always framed negatively when male characters do it to female characters, as it should be when it's female characters. It's like, quirky and funny. Gross. The theme song? Do, 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 do. Why does that make me think of the Nostalgia Critic? <laughs> Cursed. Cursed memory.
I only- the only thing from Doug I remember is the movie. I know I've seen the show, but I really only remember the movie. Where they have the, uh, the river monster. And they have to hide him. Is his name, like, Herman? Cartoon movies are hard to get right. Very true. The Jimmy Neutron movie beca came before the show ever started. Which every time I think about that, like, that's crazy. And they basically reverse manufactured it. So they made the movie so they got to use all the assets and models from the high production movie for the show. Which is super... smart. Pepper Ann. I never, I, I like, I remember these shows existing, but like, my, what was it? My Life with Ginger, Pepper Ann. I never watched a lot of those. Or, uh, <laughs> what's the, what's the divorce Digimon one? That's really creepy, and it's from Canada. <laughs> Angela Anaconda! I never watched that. If- if your cartoon had, like, a quirky... ...girl protag... Like, I remember all these shows existing. There's a very... <laughs> There's a very infamous post, which I don't think it's real, so... But it's, uh... So Angela- there's an Angela Anaconda short be before the Digimon movie. Speaking of movies. Uh... And... Basically, they thought they were gonna watch the Digimon movie and it ended up... Upsetting the kid and the parents got divorced. Angela Anaconda ended their totally real, not made up for a story online marriage. I remember Code Lyoko, and I remember watching a few episodes and always being like enchanted by how ugly the show was. Like, I'd never watched. I don't remember anything about it, but I know I watched a few episodes and just thinking like, wow, these characters have disgusting foreheads. <laughs> Good theme song, though. God, I love that era where all these other, like, studios tried to make quote-unquote anime. Is it a hot take to say that you don't like Invader Zim? <laughs> I mean, granted, I've never really watched a whole lot of it, but... Lol, random, waffles, XD, so random.
I don't know, are there any popular old kid shows, chat, that you like, that you don't like, that would be a hot take? Like, say you hated Spongebob or something, which I don't know why you would. Spongebob's goaded, but... <laughs> Kids Next Door? Why? What is it about? That show's a lot of fun. I love- I love the premise- the premise of it. <laughs> there's been a- there's been some- some TikToks of, like, number one infiltrating Jared Fogel's house. <laughs> and they've had on my TikTok- the guy does a great impression of number one. It's over for you, Mr. Fogel. Yeah, I think it's pretty universally recognized that Spongebob, uh... Not as good as it used to be. Oh, I'm- I big agree, Cacturn. That show gave me the creeps. Recess. Never liked Tom and Jerry. See, I'm Tom's biggest fan, so I always want Tom to- I want Tom to decimate Jerry. <laughs> Tom and Jerry is popular in Japan, fun fact. You can get some, uh, Van Presto has a bunch of merchandise for Tom and Jerry. You have, like, Jerry hiding in one of those, like, fruit sandwiches that's really popular over there. It's very cute. Old Hanna-Barbera cartoons dull as dirt. Not talking about my boy Scooby-Doo, are you? <laughs> No slander towards Scoobert Dubert on this stream. Scooby Doo has so many iterations, though. I remember many different versions of Scooby Doo. Yeah, Zombie Island is like legitimately. Really good. I want this- I want this frig- this, uh, frozen nugget. I'm gonna do a sandwich, chat. Desperate times. I thought you said you don't, like, spirit it away for a second. I was about to say, wait a second. <laughs> Characters are mean-spirited. Yeah, shows like that can be kind of miserable to watch. It's a delicate balance. We'll say. It is a delicate balance. Why is po why is Petrarant always pop poppity poppin? All right, for dragon, I need avocado. That's right. Petrarant's pop 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 poppin. I need two? Ugh. 
Ugh. There's a good sandwich guide and I always lose track of where it is. This one I don't like. Here it is, I found it. Never mind, I got it. Avocado and then salty spicy, okay. Like, I don't know about all the, like, Scooby-Doo specials where they're, like, with wrestlers. <laughs> but most Scooby-Doo, like, 2000s era stuff I find enjoyable. It's a jam. It's so hard to dodge wrestling shit, chat. <laughs> Somebody that didn't grow up with it, not gonna get into it. This is, uh, there's dragon. Okay, perfect, beautiful. Alright. One frozen chicken nugget, please. Yeah, you know whenever I go, we've got to have money. That's from the first uh, Tom and Jerry movie. Had the best movie. I wish I could remember the Powerpuff Powerpuff Girls movie. Was that a good movie, Chad? I don't remember. Yeah, I like Jimmy Neutron's movie with the egg guys. And they have that sequence where they all blast off into space. Yes! We're the kids in America! I think Digimon used that song, too. Digimon's soundtrack is fucking insane. Digimon had Smash Mouth in it a year before Shrek came out. True Pioneers. This is cinema. and scratchy. I don't... I don't think I've ever seen a full episode of The Simpsons. Ever. We're the kids in America. That's such a good song. Man, and then the Pokemon soundtrack had, like, Christina Aguilera on it. <laughs> Man. Yeah, I- my parents, like, I feel like you would have to- did you grow up with, like, an older sibling watching it or something? Nobody in my house ever watched it, so therefore I didn't.
Yeah, I mean, the pow I, to bring back the Powerpuff Girls movie, that movie bombed. That movie did not do well in theaters, and that was kind of the end of that. Which is a real shame. I don't know, Cacturn. That's a good question. God, they better get that right. <laughs> oh, they better get that right. I need Mike and Brian to learn not to write cringe romance very quickly. <laughs> Please. I don't even know, like, how do you design a villain that goes up against a fully, like, in their prime team avatar? And they still have to withhere to the canon in Korra. I probably have two characters from Korra that I would put on, like, my all-time least favorite character list. But season three is so good. Season three had me yelling at the screen. <laughs> I don't know, that show stuff- like, they first thought Nickelodeon was only gonna give them, like, 13 episodes. So... They kept getting screwed by production. If they had known from the start that they were gonna have four full seasons, then... We could have had something beautiful. Kind of crazy how we haven't really had anything like Avatar since. Like, there's been some good kids, like kid shows, but none of them hit the highs that Avatar ever hit. I don't know, I think about something like Owl House. Like, Owl House was good. Again, maybe if Owl House <laughs> had a fully realized last season, but... Yeah, I see way more Family Guy clips these days than I do Simpsons. Nickelodeon, I feel like, is still going strong. I don't know what Cartoon Network is doing at the moment. I can only think of, like, little kids shows like Bluey or Paw Patrol. Otherwise, I don't know. Man, 
Man, I got something in my eye. Yeah, you, you see they're bringing back, uh, they're trying to trudge multiverses back up. They're like, hey guys, we're back. <laughs> There's no way that game isn't gonna just flop again. No way. Mr. Beast instead of Nickelodeon. God, that's... <laughs> oh, boy. Mr. Beast! You see there's a Mr. Beast uh, character in Kung Fu Panda 4 chat? I'm afraid DreamWorks is cooked. <laughs> I've heard that a lot of the talent there has been fired. Uh, it's- it's so over, actually. Poppy Playtime YouTubers. Uh, hey guys, welcome back to my latest Poppy's Playtime Theory video. is, uh, yeah, that's pretty depressing. <laughs> I mean, I, I watched a lot of, like, garbage YouTubers when I was a child, but I also still watched TV as a kid. It wasn't all streaming. Seventeen minutes left on the sandwich. Come on, man. Frigibax is betraying. Yeah, that was like the first 2D animated movie to win Best Picture in like two decades. How depressing is that? Is that movie good? I've heard mixed things about it. I do kind of want to hear Robert Pattinson do a deranged voice performance, though.
incomprehensible. I mean, it didn't really have steep competition. I don't think Elemental was ever gonna win. Uh, what else is it even up against? The Spider-Verse movie that's incomplete because it's a... Se a second part in a trilogy. I don't know what else was nominated. I know Wish wasn't nominated, which is very funny. Look, it's our big 100 year movie movie for, for celebrating 100 years. Oh, it sucks ass. Yeah, I, I... I don't know what that is. Megamind, isn't it like a... I thought it was a show, or is it a movie? I don't even know. I think DreamWorks is, uh... <laughs> Man... <laughs> Really a shame that Kung Fu Por Kung Fu Panda 4 is not very good. Kung Fu Poor. <laughs> yeah, I have to watch Megamind at some point. I know it's people say it's good. Chicken Nugget betrays. Oh, Nimona was nominated. Nimona was good, but I don't know if it was Oscar worthy. <laughs> I'm glad it's- it got to see the light of day, though. was cute. It didn't overstay its welcome. It was well animated. Good voice performances. Good music. It was on YouTube for free like a week ago. But yeah, Nimona is a good watch if you haven't seen it. I still have not seen Barbie.
I've wanted to see Godzilla minus one. It's cool that that movie got to... to win. Something. Biopics. I like the design of Godzilla way more in Minus One. I don't know, he was kind of ugly and creepy looking in Shin. <laughs> I'm sure Oppenheimer is a good movie, but it's nothing I ever really need to ever see. It does make me laugh that Josh Peck is in the movie, though. <laughs> My god, please let me make a picnic. Thanks. Wasting precious, precious sandwich time. Godzilla and Kong, the, the new Godzilla Kong movie coming out looks really fucking goofy, but in a good way. Like, Kong rides on Godzilla's back. That's they, the way they, like, run together. <laughs> They're besties now! Yay! Buddy cop movie with Kaiju. Gojira. Also, I like Godzilla's pink. <laughs> Godzilla got a little pink upgrade. Good for good for him. When are they ever gonna bring back Gamera? Speaking of pink, where's my pink nugget? Pink ribbons nugget. Can I trade my Drifloon and my, uh... <laughs> what was it, a Sneasel for this? Like... Yeah, my nuggets are frozen. Chili. Done. I war movies are always going to be a no thanks. Dude, I'm was I'm wasting precious precious why do I keep saying precious precious sandwich seconds here?
Oh boy, five minutes, jeez. No, it's my least favorite time when the sun sets, so everything looks weirdly shiny. They sound like cats. They sound like they're meowing. Oh, my hand, my hand is falling asleep. Gaming too hard. Gamers are gaming. Shiny hunting is serious gaming business. Chikorita whooper? What do you mean? I need to download Blender and start... I really want to make Booper 3D. That's my ultimate goal. body of Chikorita. Yeah, they do have very similar body types. Four-legged, small legs. Lots of hopes and dreams. Big personality. Hilarious. I want to hear Petra pop some more. What if they make an ASMR Pokemon? That could unironically happen. The Japanese Pokemon YouTube channel has put out many ASMR Pokemon things. This could happen. You all heard it here first. At some point there will be an ASMR Pokemon. I'm thinking I'm going to make it, like, an Animal Crossing villager. I mean, I could take, like, Chikorita's model from... something. Probably, what, BDSP? This game? I don't know, the gills are going to be challenging. Like, Booper is very simple, except for the gills. The gills are going to be... my greatest triumph. Yeah, they've done Charmander, Fire, Crackling. They've done Bulbasaur in a forest, and I think they did Squirtle on a beach. Hold on, let me let me look. Yep. They even translated it. They even put English in the title. Charmander's Fireside Slumber. Ugh. <laughs> no, that was too much. <laughs> that was too much. Well, frick. You had one minute and 30 seconds to get a shiny chicken nugget that's frozen. <laughs> Would you take them? Oh my god, I'm wasting seconds on this! The ice area is a nightmare. Yeah, ASMR is one of those things that I feel like is very personal taste. 
Like, I don't like slurping, eating noises. Like, mukbangs are my kryptonite. Hearing people slop food makes me want to rip my skin off. Especially, like, noodle slurping. Oh, god. Lag Lake is the worst. <sighs> coughing baby versus coughing baby. But you know what? We got him. My prodigal nugget is here. Thank you, Miss Chicken Nugget. All right. Uh, I guess you should have taken the shot, Chad. <laughs> I guess the shot should have been taken, actually. Because uh, I got it. Let's go! Ooh, good. We finally got Bex Caliber's line done. Uh oh. Every time they wake up with 1 HP, I fear. I am frightful. Baxi. Um. Love. <sighs> you fucking piece of shit. You fucking little piece of shit. Oh, do I turn my game off for this? God. Corn balls are just a fucking waste in these games. It does look sped up. <sighs> God damn it. This is fucking great, guys. Thanks for having, like, two of these in the whole game. Unless I go fiddle-faddle with the, the lottery. That just I wanna kill this thing now. Legitimately I wanna I wanna murder this thing. I don't know, nothing matches. Like what do I get to match pink nails and an ugly blue body? Ugh, fine. Where's the opposite of love ball? I need hate ball. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Alright, where's Arctabax? There it is. You have a mark. Yeah, what would a hate ball do if frustration doesn't exist anymore? Oh, Tyrogue. I would have done Tyrogue. I think I need... Get on Chan? Question mark? Slammed a door in its face. <laughs> It's like... <laughs> this has a strange expression.
<laughs> kind of looks like a thumb. Like, this is just a very goofy little guy. My god, why did my game lag there? Gossamer energy. And do its little pitter pats. Mm, me hungry. <laughs> All right, you funky little guy. All right, funky friend. Evolve, my child. I wish it evolved at 55. Like, 55 is always what I think of as the pseudo level. Ooh, it's Baxi! Look at those nails, or, er, uh, hand things. It's... Mm, this isn't a good shiny, chat, I'm afraid to say. <laughs> yeah, Wolverine Claws? Uh, ad adamantium? <laughs> big boy. Or, er, big, big lady. <laughs> Look at the f the footprint, that's fun. He's kind of got Barney the Dinosaur proportions. Poor portions. Oh look, it's like, uh... <laughs> it was like interacting with its Wolverine claws. I like the yellow eyes. The eyes on Bax Caliber are really cool. They remind me of like that crazy supersonic. Ooh, let me mark this. I haven't even marked it yet, chat. Hold on. Hold the phone. Man, I'm really getting through Gen 9, Bax. So that's 706. Nice. Good, good. So I don't need that many- I'm, I'm getting close, Chad. I'm getting close. Still would love for Smoliv to show up at some point. Um, yeah, a lot of good Gen 9s in here. We got Watrol, Varum, finally got Dash Bun, finished Garganackle's line, Tauros, Baxi, another Squawkabilly, which was nice. Yeah, you're actually right, Justin. It is more satisfying to cross them off the list. I'm a big fan of list-based technology. <laughs> that's, uh, anytime I get to, like, cross something off a list in a game, that's the perfect gameplay loop for me. But yeah, that'll, uh, geez, I've been streaming for a while. That was a good night of shiny hunting. Friggy Backs took longer than I would have liked it to. And I had to use a sandwich, but, you know, what can you do? Sometimes it be like that. And I got the line done, so worth it. Oh, but yeah, thanks for hanging out tonight, everybody. Check out the Discord, newly revamped. Welcome to Booper Town. Funky Booper Town. And shout out to the YouTube viewers. Appreciate y'all. And yeah, we'll be back. I don't know if I'm going to stream tomorrow. But we'll definitely be back for finishing Conquest next. But yeah, thanks for hanging out tonight, everybody. And I'll see you guys later. Good night. Bye.